In what's believed to be the first effort of its kind, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a state-sponsored economic aid package specifically for undocumented workers. Now there's a debate raging on social media. Governor Gavin Newsom announcing cash payments of $500 each up to $1,000 per household to undocumented immigrants who are unemployed because of the coronavirus pandemic. We're putting up $75 million in partnership with philanthropy. Philanthropy is matching our efforts, not dollar for dollar, but they're putting in an additional $50 million to support our efforts. So a total of $125 million. Undocumented immigrants paid about $2.5 billion in taxes in California, and they work in parts of the economy now considered essential, picking our crops, servicing hospitals, providing home health care. But they're not eligible for unemployment payments or the federal government's new stimulus checks. South L.A. Assemblyman Reggie Jones-Sawyer says this state-sponsored assistance is the right thing to do. When With them not being part of uh, any kind of uh, uh, ability to get unemployment, um, many of them don't have uh, medical. This is a way to make sure that that safety net stays there and that we're able to keep people who will be working again, that we were able to keep them um through this tough period right now. The backlash was immediate on social media. The hashtag recall Gavin Newsom started trending, but many who support the effort are using the hashtag to defend the plan. Food blogger Jerry James Stone, 70% of farm workers are undocumented. California grows 40% of America's produce. Farms are literally throwing away food right now. This is bigger than your xenophobia. And journalist Nedra Nittle, Undocumented immigrants pay taxes, and their labor is worth more than $180 billion a year to California's economy. The hashtag recall Gavin Newsom folks can have several seats. The state's contribution, $75 million, comes from California's Rainy Day Fund, which contains an estimated $20 billion.